before we get started. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button and hit the subscribe button. Let's start that intro. guys so we're gonna learn basically that groove but what we're really learning is a concept and we're learning how to stop playing like that and i'm not talking about like i was just playing but i'm saying how do we get to this way of playing because a lot of people play you know with block style chords and that's what we're talking about we want to stop playing with those block style bland chords now are they useful yes when you first start learning they teach you how to play these chords you know block style we're going to be in the key of c sharp it's a simple key so, basically, they teach you how to play chords like this. So, basically, you're playing in the left hand, you're playing a bass note. In the left hand, you're playing, you know, whatever your bass is. And then in the right hand, you're playing your chord. So, like, one, three, five, for instance. Well, we want to stop playing like that. We want to focus on extending the chords. What I mean by that is, we're going to play these chords and what we're going to do is we're going to think of our left hand as well not as the bass we want to think of our left hand as an extension of our right hand and vice versa so we want to think of this being one hand with ten fingers instead of two hands and five fingers so what i mean by that is instead of playing black style not black black style <laughs> sounded like black but um instead of playing block style we want to play where we're extending chords with our right hand from the left hand. So basically, in the left hand, instead of playing one, five, one, or sometimes one, five, three, which is drop two, we're gonna play the chords in our left hand and then basically just extend them in the right. So what extensions are, essentially, 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 wow, I can't talk. Essentially, they're your nines, your thirteens, your 11s, your 7s. Those are, those are your extensions. And what I mean by this, so in your major chord, you got 1, 3, 5. So the extensions of these chords are everything that's not in this major 1, 3, 5. So you got your 9th, 11th, 13th, 7th, so forth, so on. Right. So with that being said, we're going to play the chord in our left hand and extensions in our right. And we're just going to want to uh, make one big chord. See that? Now look at the difference between this and the regular way. So the old way, see how that sounds? Even if you add, let's add some color to it. See how that sounds? Right? Now let's do it the way where the chord is extended. See how much, I can even bring it up here. See how much clearer and crisp that sounds? It sounds more professional, sounds more crisp. And one thing it's going to do, for you guys who have bass players or playing in a band setting, um, it's going to clear up the space for everybody to not be so much in the same register, so to speak. Because we have everybody playing the bass note, and the bass guys playing the bass note and everything, it's going to sound muddy. It's going to sound, you know, congested. So by playing like this, you open up your sound. So watch this. That pattern we had on the loop was a four, six, two, excuse me, three, sharp four, five, one, and then it repeats, okay, but let's play that the basic way, and see if it sounds the same as the other way, see how much different it sounds, so I'm going to play the loop one time so you can hear it, just so you can hear how it goes, so that's the six, ready, sorry, that's the, I'm going to do it again, so this is the bass pattern, four, six, two, three, 
three, twelve, four, five, one. Okay, so that's it. So let's play what the block style traditional way would be. Okay. So block, we playing. We'll be playing just this, right? And then we go to the six. Your regular minor chord. Two. Three and a three. Um, in terms of how it's voiced on this track, you know, it would be like this. It would be a, basically an A flat chord over the three. So, black style, then a B flat chord over a flat five. Then it would be a B chord over the five and back to the one. So, I'm gonna play it that way over the track. And you see how it sounds with the black style chords first, okay? Then we'll play it with the extensions so you can see with the, how it sounds better, okay? Okay, so that's basically how it sounds. Very basic, very bland, no color to it, no feel to it. But let's play it another way and then I'll break it down for you, okay? So let's play it this way. One more time. So you see how much clearer that sounds, how much crisper that sounds, just sounds more professional. Just look at that movement right there. I could just do that. Okay, so basically what we're doing is taking that concept from before. We're just applying it to different chords, okay? So we're, instead of playing four chord, we're going to play the four chord like this. If you look at it, I'm essentially just doubling it up. So we got F sharp, G sharp, or A flat. And I'll do it in I'll do it in um, flats because most people know the flats better. Um, and in certain keys, it's just easier. And I don't want to get into the whole theory of double sharps and all that. But let's just focus on flats. So I'll say it in flats just for clarity. And if you want sharps, it'll show up on the screen in sharps. So F sharp. All right, why did I say that? G flat. <laughs> Sorry, A flat, B flat. Right? D flat and then F. Okay. And then on here, A flat, B flat. D flat and F. That's your four chord. Now we're going to the six, which is B flat. Remember, we're in D flat or C sharp. Okay, so now we're playing this. Basically, if you look at the chord, we're playing a C sharp seven. Remember, we're just taking those chords and turning them to sevens and nines and extending them. Okay, so just playing this basic C sharp chord. So we just add the seventh. Okay, so we got A flat, C, D flat, and F. And then we're just gonna play B flat, C, E flat. If we really look at it, it's almost like doubling up the chord again. Okay, so now we're just gonna roll. So all I'm doing is, and when I hit the C, I'm gonna play this. So. Right. right so that's our six so four six now imagine this let's play the black style way so you can hear the difference see how you see the difference hey it's a major difference by doing just this small thing okay so let's do it again and now we're going to the two we're going to play two like this so instead of playing the two like this, we're gonna put that in the left. Play it like this. Now sometimes I'll actually play this for a two two. Cause it's basically the same chord. But we'll just do it like this. Okay, so we're gonna play the two, which is E flat, G flat, A flat, B flat, and D flat. Okay. Then we're gonna basically play that same chord we just did with the four. Or you can do it like that, you can do it like this. Let's do it like this. So, all we did was add F 
and B flat. And we're gonna roll from D flat. Or E flat, I'm sorry. Okay. That's the two chord. So let's go back. Four, six, two. Now let's go to the three. Sorry about the camera having some malfunctions today. Three. So this is gonna be a three, and basically we're playing this A flat chord over the three. Okay. So we're gonna play the A flat chord, put in our left hand, remember, at the seventh of that chord. So A flat seven, see? Or G sharp seven, same thing. One is sharp, one is flats. And then on the right hand, extend it. So we're gonna play F, G, and B flat. And basically if you look at it, this would be the sixth of A flat, this would be the seventh of A flat, and this would be the nine so if you notice it we're doing the 13th 7th ninth. same thing all that all of these are just the extensions of the chords and look how basic that really is but it gives you a fuller sound okay so that's three now all we're going to do is modul uh, modulate this all the way up so modulate it up a whole step oh, i'm sorry a half step oh, a whole step i was right yeah <laughs> i'm sorry we're going to modulate this up a whole step to B flat seven with the 13th if you want same type of chord so this would be the sixth of B flat this would be the seventh of B flat okay then modulate up a half step this time to B so basically you're playing a B seven see it's like a B major seven I just take out the three and then we'll do the same thing the sixth of B seventh of B and this time I'm playing the three instead of the two Okay. When I say three, I'm talking about in reference to B. So this is one, two, three, right? You can play the two if you want. Either way, same difference. Sometimes, sometimes I play that. Sometimes. I play that. Okay. So let's do it one more time, and that'll be it. Oh, sorry. And then the last chord back to the one. I just play this. So instead of playing the C sharp major seven or the D flat major seven, I just make it a dominant seven by dropping this. So. You can add this if you want, and then I just play five, six, and two. My camera keeps turning off. Okay. All right. So give me a second because I do not want the camera to turn off while we're doing this. So let me fix that real quick, and I'll come right back. Okay. So we're back, and we should have that resolved for it. Right okay. So let's go back to that while we were. So we did all the chords. Now we did. Let's play them one more time. Six, two, three, sharp four, five, and then a one. All right, now let's play it with the groove, and you'll see how it goes together. I'll play it the black style way the first time so you can see the difference, and then we'll go into it, and then I'll add some couple of things to it. Ready? Let's go. I played the black style one more time. This would be like the black way. All right, other way. Just by doing that, you can sound like a pro. You can sound more professional. You can sound more clean and more crisp. Just by making those simple changes. 
Like, look at the difference between the two styles. So if this video helped you, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you have not already. And we will see you in the next video. Peace.